What's up guys, Cody Dean here. In this video, I'm gonna show you and teach you what I learned from Steve Larson. If you don't know who Steve Larson is, he used to work for Russell Brunson with ClickFunnels. He quit his job there and he has launched a couple different programs and courses on funnels. He was the main funnel builder at ClickFunnels. He launched a program called Secret MLM Hacks which he has since shut down, teaching how to do network marketing online using funnels. It's very funnel heavy and tech savvy. You gotta be tech savvy to do that one. As well as recently, last at the end of last year, 2021, he launched another program called Modern Downline. And that is a $1,200 program. Secret MLM Hacks was a $1,000 program, both of which I bought. And I'm going to teach you what I learned from those programs so you don't have to go and buy those programs. All right, let's jump in. First thing that I learned with Steve Larson here is to really focus on selling your products to people that actually want to buy those products. Again, I talk about this a lot in network marketing is don't talk to your friends and family unless you just know that they're going to be interested in your product. The best way to find someone that is already buying the products is go to your competitor and talk to people that are not happy with the competitor. And those are going to be your best prospects, your best customers. They're going to be the easiest sell that you can make because they're already sold on the, whatever it is that you're selling, they're just not buying it from you, right? They're buying it from your competitor, but they're not happy. I actually had this happen to me when I was doing door-to-door -door sales. I was selling satellite TV and I'd go knock on people's doors and the easiest sell was someone that was paying for cable or another satellite company and they were paying way too much. They were upset. They didn't get the channels that they wanted. And all I had to do was just say, hey, Look at what you're getting now. Look at what I have. Come on over here and, and buy my product, right? It was the easiest sell that I could make because I didn't have to sell these people on getting TV and paying for TV. This was, you know, five, six years ago when I was doing door to door. And I started seeing a trend of people cutting the cord, right? Hardly anyone you know now is paying for TV um, a traditional TV cable or satellite because it's so dang expensive when you could go and get Netflix for 9, 10, 11 bucks, right? Or your very favorite TV show on an app. And so I noticed trying to sell someone that had no TV and trying to convince them to buy TV, like I just couldn't do it. I was like, I don't want to sell you something that you don't really want or want to pay for. And that's why I was really into this learning from Steve Larson here of, hey, don't talk to people that are not interested in what you have to sell. They're the hardest to sell. You're going to have to try and convince and convince and convince. It's going to take a ton of energy, a ton of time to try and convince this person to buy your product. Instead, just go to someone else that's already bought a product that's similar. Maybe they're upset. They don't, it didn't solve all their problems. And just say, hey, come buy my product. Try it out. It's awesome. It's going to solve your problems. So that's the big thing. Number one is don't sell your product to everyone. Sell your product to people that actually buy similar products. Number two thing that I learned, and this just completely changed my mind about network marketing, is you don't own very much in network marketing. You don't own the products. You don't own your downline. You don't own the company. You don't own their promotions. You don't even... You're basically just a sales rep. And if you, if this is the first time you're hearing it, I apologize if I'm not saying it in a very polite way, but you are basically a glorified sales rep. And so what I learned from Steve Larson was you need to create a business in front of your quote unquote network marketing business. This way you can control your income, you can control the leads, and you can control your revenue and money even if someone doesn't join your network marketing team and everything will filter through this business, right? It's, it's kind of like a you Inc, you incorporated, right? This is your business and you can use things and create things that are in front of the network marketing company to attract people to you. And then if they join the network marketing 
company that's great if they don't that's also great like because you have this business on the front end he recommends using information products as a way to attract people to you and this is what i teach to my people and my team as well and number three use a filter aka a sales rep uh, <laughs> aka a sales funnel to filter out people that are going to be interested and not interested there are tire kickers there are looky loos as the way of the wolf Jordan Belford says, there are looky loos, there's tire kickers, those people you don't even wanna to talk to, right? You can use a filter, AKA a sales funnel to filter people out. So you're only talking to very interested people. One of the major ways and things that I learned from Steve Larson is using an application to have people apply to join your team and work with you. That way you're not begging people to join. You actually are having people ask you to join your team. Uh, you can use something as simple as Google Forms to set that up. I've seen people use type forms. Um, there's a bunch of different forms. Even Microsoft Outlook has like some kind of form filler. So just ask a couple questions, filter out all the people that are super interested. Someone that's actually interested will fill out the form and then you can have a conversation with someone that's interested and not just anyone, right? Think of it like college. You don't want... Colleges have you apply to have you join even if they accept everyone, you still have to fill out an application. Same kind of thing. It's the same psychology of, hey, this is just something you have to do. You have to up, be approved um, or pass an application to, to be in this department or this college. So those are the three things that I learned. Um, I share a ton of information on this YouTube channel. So if you want to learn more, make sure you subscribe so I can teach you more things as I learn them. If you want to learn how to recruit in a digital way, I actually have just came out with a brand new program called Digital Recruiting Formula. You can check that out in the first link down below or by going to codydean.net forward slash digital. And you can learn the formula that I use and have used to attract over 2,600 people into my uh, businesses. All right, you guys go out, be great, and create your freedom.